Welcome back Syracuse Math Kitties. In today's video, I am going to just make a few quick announcements regarding our upcoming Module 4. I have posted those announcements on Canvas, so I'm going to go ahead and read that, and I'm going to show you the Module 4 Math Packet. All right, so it's past midnight on Monday, which means that some of you have just started your day. So with that said, here are a few announcements for this week. Number one, we are starting module four this week. The paper packets will be delivered tomorrow, Tuesday, only for those students that do not have technology. So if for some reason you do not receive module four paper packet tomorrow, and you are one of those students that needs one because you don't have technology at home, then please let Ms. Perlino or Ms. G, that's me, let us know and we will make sure that you get a paper packet. With that said, number two, you are required to do either assignments in Canvas or in paper packet, not both. So in other words, if you have technology, then you will do all work in Canvas. If you do not have technology, then you will do all the work in paper packet. Is that understood? Alrighty. Number three. Let me scroll down. Number three, before proceeding to do module four work, please make sure that you are all caught up with your module three work, regardless if you're doing your work on Canvas or in paper packet, you need to be all caught up with module three. If you have fallen behind and you haven't submitted your work on Canvas or in pay on your paper packets, then please reach out to Ms. Perlina or to myself so that we can, you know, help you catch up. And just a quick overview of your module four paper math packet as well as Canvas. Here is how your module four pa math packet looks like. All right, module four. It starts out with homework track or table. That's very self-explanatory. You have some daily learning tasks. Although there's zero math in these, these are more for feedback. It is the easiest 100 points that you will ever get in school. So I highly recommend that you actually take the time and quickly answer these questions. It's not a big deal, but you get your 100 points. The main portion of your module for paper packet is right here. All right. Each page is labeled lesson one through eight. Each page starts out with a brief explanation. Uh, this entire packet deals with exponent properties. So each page starts out with a brief explanation and then few problems to test out your new skills in this area. Some lessons ha will have only one or two problems, some will have four, but I would say on average there's only like three math problems in each section. And there's actually, by the way, there's actually no lesson seven. I've miscounted, so as you can see we have lesson five, lesson six, and then it jumps to lesson eight. So technically speaking, you only have seven lessons in this math packet. Seven lessons, only about three problems each. That is not a lot, that's very doable. Uh, as usual, I will be doing instructional videos and I will be posting those on our, on our YouTube page, Syracuse Math Kitty. If you need a particular problem explained and you want an instructional video, or you wanna speak to me or Ms. Perrina directly, just reach out to us and we will gladly help you. All right, let me show you what's happening on Canvas. In Canvas, as you can see, you have some of your old assignments from module three. All of these you should have already completed. If you scroll down, you will see some new stuff. So let me get it for you. All right, so you will see Khan Academy video seven, you will see Khan Academy video eight, nine, and 10. So there's four new videos, and then there's like 
um, practice problems. So exponents, lesson practice, powers of products and quotients, etc. So those are some of your new assignments in Canvas. Again, I will be doing I will be doing um, instructional videos on each one of these separately. And oh, let's not forget your discussion posts. So module four will also have discussion posts. Now these are not available yet. We haven't made them available for you guys to work on, but we will be doing that towards the end of this week. Lastly, and very, very, very important, you need to turn in your work, whether it's on Canvas or paper packets, so that you can get credit for your fourth quarter. Work done in paper packets can be turned in directly at the school on Mondays, Wednesdays, or Fridays between 10 a.m. and 12 p.m. All right, there are three bins, one for each grade level, right at the entrance of the school. You would be submitting all your school work in that bin, not just math. All right, so obviously you guys are eighth grade, so you will be submitting your work in the eighth grade bin. All right, if you haven't submitted your work, from your paper packets, if you are one of those students that does the work in the paper packets, then please turn them in at the school in one of the bins. I'm sorry, not one of the bins, the bin that's labeled for eighth grade, all right? Or you can take pictures. If you don't wanna go to the school and turn in your work, you can just take pictures of your work and text message or email Ms. Perlina or Ms. G so that we can grade it and give you credit. And as always, please visit our class YouTube channel, Syracuse Math Kitty, for many instructional videos on how to complete your work. I've been posting instructional videos on there for work to be done in paper packets as well as Canvas work. If you don't see something on there that you need help with, then what do you need to do? That's right, you need to reach out to me or to Ms. Perino so that we know what you need help with. I cannot create a video to help you if I don't know what you need help with. So let me know, please. I will gladly make you a video to explain. Or if you would rather talk to me directly, again, reach out. I'm here for you. Ms. Perino is here for you. We want you to be successful. And most importantly, we want you to stay safe and healthy. So. Until next time, take care, kitties.